It's July 12, today in Philippine history, Maximo Bernardo Solis died in 1953 in Manila at the age of 64. Maximo Bernardo Solis was known by his pen name, Max Bernard. He was the first director of the magazine Renacimiento Filipino and a columnist in the leading Filipino broadsheet in Spanish, La Vanguardia. This image was taken when, at age 22, Maximo was among the editorial staff of La Vanguardia who visited Batangas after the 1911 Taal volcanic eruption. Maximo was born to the rich Solis clan of Lipa in 1889 to Bernardo Solis and Guillermo Africa. Bernardo Solis was a gobernador silio. He was a poet, a playwright, and a journalist. Bernardo and his wife had the reputation of living an extravagant European lifestyle. Bernardo was the son of Celestino Solis and Jacoba Mitra. Celestino started as a clerk in the municipio and through his industry and thrift, he bought tracts of land in Batangas, Laguna, and Quezon. He invested in the cultivation of coffee. He became his barrio's cabeza and later gobernador silio. The Solis clan became the richest in Lipa thanks to the efforts of Don Celestino. Celestino was the son of Juan Solis and Irene de los Santos. According to Herencia Lipeña, Juan was said to be a mestizo of Spanish-Mexican ancestry, while Irene descended from natives of Malabar in India who were shipwrecked in Luzon and settled in Santo Tomas, Batangas. Now let's go back to Maximo Bernardo Solis. He married Leandra Baldovia Espinosa, an heiress of a rich family from Sariaya, Quezon. He also married Milagros Hernandez, who was the mother of Rosario. Rosario Violeta Solis, who many know as Charito Solis, a famous and Gawad Urian award-winning Filipino film actress. Maximo died in 1953 in Manila from coronary heart disease, the same condition that took the life of his famous daughter. Aside from connecting us with ancestors who came before us, family history research also gives us clues on the medical or genetic predispositions of the clan, which is passed on through our DNA. Oh, diba? Meow, meow.